today we will learn about health and diseases we use the words health and disease many times health is the stage under which physical mental and social work can be done properly by proper capacity health is not just about getting rid of disease but is also associated with feeling good within having a mentally positive attitude not finding yourself under pressure in times of social difficulties etc a person's health depends on his physical environment economic condition and social equality physical environment various disasters like floods can have different consequences on health but the most important factor in this is pollution in our environment if the environment around us would be dirty and polluted we would feel disappointed in such a situation our minds could not remain happy and the chances of various diseases also increases and in such a situation we are not called healthy therefore social hygiene is essential for personal health for a good physical environment the clean environment proper disposal of waste and sewage and clean water is essential economic condition good food and clean water are necessary for good health to get good food good financial conditions is necessary and to be in good financial condition employment opportunities must be available social equality humans are a social animal they maintain interrelationships with each other if there is no equality in society then the behavior towards each other will not be good due to which problems like fear tribulation will increase in the society this will increase mental stress which is not good for health therefore it is necessary to have brotherhood and equality in the society if seen the cleanliness and social inequality of the physical environment are community problems personal health is possible only after removing these problems therefore community health is also essential for personal health now let's discuss the disease disease refers to disturbances in the normal state of the organism disease can be written as dis plus ease and from this we can take the meaning as lack of rest due to disease the functioning of any part of our body is interrupted since the functions of all the organs in our body are dependent on each other other functions of the body are also hindered this makes the person feel uncomfortable there can be various reasons for the disease such as lack of nutrients entrance of any harmful organisms like bacteria or viruses in the body and lack of public health services genetic defects such as sickle cell anemia etc if a person does not have any disease we call him disease free sometimes the condition of getting rid of disease is called good health but this is not true we will call a person disease free only when there is no discomfort in the functioning of one or more of his organs but a person can be said healthy when he feel physically mentally and socially good in this way every healthy person is disease free but every disease free person cannot be said healthy for example a disease free person may be unwell due to social and environmental factors
When there is a disease, there is a defect in the structure or function of one or several organs of the body due to which changes are seen in those organs like headache, cough, swelling, etc. These changes are called symptoms. A disease can be inferred from these symptoms. Different diseases may have similar symptoms. Such as headache can be in different diseases such as cold, brain inflammation that is meningitis. On seeing the symptoms, the doctors determine which disease sign the symptoms are. They may also conduct some tests in the laboratory to ensure the diagnosis of the disease. There can be many factors or causes of a disease. For example, a child suffers from diarrhea, then microorganism is the immediate cause. But many factors like genetic variation, nutritional deficiency, water pollution, poverty are its contributory causes. Immediate cause can be infectious which includes microorganisms or can be non-infectious which does not include microorganisms. In the next video, we will discuss this in detail. So today we have learned about health and diseases. Thank you.